We are uh, working in Lima right now since uh, 2006. We were uh, we start our practice in uh, 1994 in Paris and then uh, after 16 years we moved uh, to, to Lima where we were born and uh, so it's, uh, we feel uh, at home but it was a very uh, uh, radical change uh, because the way of uh, the way we work in both uh, places are very different and uh, in um, Lima we have a small practice we have a team between uh, six and eight people working with us and um, we are uh, confronted to projects that uh, have Always a uh, little budget, um, but there are many possibilities to, uh, that presents around this project because also because of the, um, the climate and the, um, the way you, you, the simple things uh, can be done without much technology um, also because we had this uh, 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 this uh, landscape and this uh, climate that helps a lot we we don't have to to be worried about uh, for example Mm, rain and uh, extreme temperatures so that reduces uh, the architecture to like to s more simple things and more uh, and things that uh, that uh, can uh, easily give well-being to people and transform people life just working with uh, space light and a uh, little of matter but it's not uh, that we need uh, sophisticated things to 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 do it uh, just uh, simple elements and so we are always trying to to stay simple to get out or get rid of things that doesn't um, that doesn't count really for architecture and uh, we try to stay in the essential of architecture. The project uh, uh, I was selected for was the Paracas Museum. It's a little side museum for uh, the Paracas culture in the coastal desert of Peru, uh, 300 kilometers south of Lima. It's in, in, in a really uh, special landscape and uh, very so there there was already a, a site museum and uh, that was uh, made by a german archaeologist Frederick angel and in 2007 there was an, a, a big earthquake and it destroyed the, completely the, the museum so the Spanish uh, Cooperation Agency uh, launched a competition and, uh, for two buildings, the little museum, the new museum, and uh, the restoration of an interpretational center. Um, the European Union financed it, both programs, and they are supposed, they, th they were think they were supposed to be like complementary programs. So the Interpretational Center had um, its own exhibition spaces with a cafeteria and a viewpoint for the, for the bird watching. And the new museum uh, must uh, have the bookshop and the workshops for the community. Also its own exhibition spaces for archaeologic pieces so it's there's there are n nothing at all 
n nothing, just these two little buildings with a little plaza and, and that's it in the landscape. So we were thinking first that we had to work with the memory of the President uh, Museum. So the first reaction was, okay, let's work in the same location, situation, precise situation that the ancient uh, building and also with the same simple uh, uh, volume, volumetry. You know? It's really simple lines, very discrete, silent volume. So we wanted really to work with the memory of the, of the ancient uh, museum. It was like, the, I think, the principal idea. I think it's important these days that the women uh, have a voice because in general uh, they, they don't and uh, I, I don't especially don't like to, to talk and to shout so uh, I think it's uh, but I think it's important to do it to, to talk and so to have the space and the moment uh, uh, the opportunity to do it I think it's very important for the profession and for in general for for the for all the professions no? so it's I think it's going to change things and uh, I am teaching and I uh, since 10 years and uh, I have like two-thirds of students each time they are women two-thirds of students are women so I think it's a uh, a profession that is uh, growing also, also in that sense. So it's, uh, I thought it is a, a, a wonderful initiative, this, uh, this uh, moment that you organized and uh, Women in Architecture. And I was very happy to, to, um, to hear all the presentations very very interesting i suppose that also in general for for women uh, in in peru and uh, but for the museum because it was it is a public building but at the at the beginning it wasn't no it it, it started as a private initiative because it was uh, the money of of uh, uh, european union and that's why we had a competition. In Peru, the competitions are uh, forbidden, so for public buildings, because in the, at the, in the 90s, they abolished that with a law. And I think it's important that uh, uh, in public buildings, quality matters a lot, and it's very important. So for, for our country, it's very important to to um, uh, show that uh, it's something that we have to go back to the competition systems and to give uh, importance to public buildings because it's uh, really um, nowadays they are just choosing who is going to build like contractors but not the like, quality is not an issue so I think uh, I hope that prize will, will help with that, to change things in that sense.